All right, everyone. So today what I want to do is show you how I modeled these books. So this process will involve um, taking pictures of some books on a bookshelf, using that image to uh, model basic shapes in Rhino 3D, and then bringing that into Blender for some UV mapping. And the final step will be to bake all of these wonderful objects onto one UV map to make it easy for um, a game ready asset. And if we look at the UV map, you can see that all of the books are on one map for one object that is all perfectly optimized for a game. Okay. Here we are in Rhino and we are ready to start modeling the books. So I want to isolate the bookshelves and I also want to set my construction plane. So under this tab here to this wall. Okay. So now I will be modeling kind of against that wall there. So I'm going to isolate this object. And I'm going to go ahead and start putting books in. And I noticed that I actually missed a shelf here. So if I control shift click, and then alt and hit the down arrow here. I should be able to just kind of copy that shelf in. Cool. Okay. So the first section of books I'm going to do, um, I'm going to go ahead and switch this view to a left view. And that just gives me a flat orientation here. And then I'm going to do picture frame. And I'm going to bring in an image uh, from a camera. And I'm going to kind of just eyeball it. And I'm only using this for reference because I'm going to kind of model it. So that it fits my space here. So, um, and I'm just going to take a polyline and I'm going to turn off all my snaps and I'm going to just trace what I feel like is the shape of these books. And a key thing also to um, how to take this picture is to try to use a zoomed in lens as much as possible. Um, the more uh, of a wide angle lens on your camera that you're using, uh, the more perspective you're going to have, which is going to kind of warp the overall shape of it. And it's going to make it have more work to do in Photoshop to really flatten this image out. And yes, it's going to all just be one extrusion. We're just faking it. If you ever play video games and go up to a bookshelf, nobody's modeling every book on the bookshelf. And just kind of pull it over here and then up. And I'll turn my snap back on. So I snap it to this end point here. And that's our shape. Okay, great. So now we go ahead and we go back to our front of the house view. And I don't need this anymore. I'm going to find my oops, shape here, move, grab it there, put it right there. Okay, and then I'll scale it down a little bit so it feels like it's fitting where it should. And I've got the books pulled up on uh, 
on a separate page over on the right so that I'm basically trying to keep track of what I'm doing. There's the picture so I can just keep the proportions looking right. Okay. All right, and then move this point to there. And scale wise, a little bit bigger. Zoom selected, move this point here. I'm going to move it to like turn off my center. It wants to grab my center. I don't want it. I'm just using near. Okay. And then I want to move this. to there. All right, and then extrude this back into space. Cool. So this is my first set of books. So let's go ahead now and file export selected. And I'm going to export it as an OBJ. And I'm going to just call it books one. And fewer polygons is fine because it's a flat thing. And then OK. OK, let's go ahead and bring in our OBJ file. So import OBJ books. I'll bring in books one OBJ there. Import. And there it is. So um, I'm ready to go here. Let's. First things first, we go to UV editing. Um, make sure my view is in the correct position here and click on my object and decimal point, tab over. And I can see my UV map here is kind of chaotic. So let's first add a, go over, tab over, add a modifier, decimate. Since this is a nice planar object, I'm gonna decimate it planar and apply and tab back over and our UV map looks a little bit cleaner. Um, then I'm going to go to face selection here and here and select just that face. And with my face selection, I'm going to grab this front face right there just to find it, G to move it over. And then I'm going to select all of these and scale it way down because that stuff doesn't matter. G to move this over here, R for rotate, and I'm going to rotate it around. 90 degrees, or I'm sorry, 180, enter. And then I'm going to scale it up about here. And I'm going to scale it on the Y axis right to there. So I just want to make it take up as much space with the UV map as possible. And then with that face selected, I am just going to export the UV layout as books one. U, U, V. Okay. And I'm putting it uh, right in the proper place. And let's see. Right there. Okay. And let's go ahead and open that file up in Photoshop. Okay. So we go ahead and now let's open this up in Photoshop. Adobe Photoshop. Okay, and then let's also open up our image file. And that is, let's see, my desktop. Mm -hmm. And here, and it would be the very first one here. And let's see, where are you? There. Okay. No, that's not it. Um, it must be still in this folder here then. Okay. All right. Okay, so let's open this one with Adobe Photoshop as well. All right, so next we've got to trace over 
this one. So let me just put it right here and put up my lasso tool. And I'm just going to trace it. So go from here. And should have zoomed in a little bit. <laughs> And then we're going to grab all this. Okay, so pull this over here, uh, switch back over to this, and grab this with V, put it right there, minimize that, get it out of the way, and then I'm going to go Control T to transform it, and I'm going to scale it way down. Squish it in some. And we just want to try to line it up as good as possible. And it doesn't matter that it's skewed. All right. Enter Z for zoom. And then we'll go Control T again. Or mm -hmm. Control T. But this, actually, you know what? I'm going to go. Um, where's my dock bar? There it is. What's going on with this? Okay. Edit. Transform. We'll go free transform. Free transform will give me a little bit more. Actually, let's do edit, transform, and we'll do uh, warp. So that gives me a little bit more that I can play with here. So I can kind of pull out the middle. You know, just trying to line it up. Okay. And then pull this a little bit like that. And you might have to like retrace it a couple of times if you've got it looking too funky here and yeah we'll just call that a day i could be a little bit more accurate with that but this is the technique so then i'm going to g and white out the background then i'm going to go ahead and flatten the layers merge visible here file save it keep this open in case i have to undo it if it looks bad in blender All right, so now all we got to do um, is go ahead and import the image as our UV. So we go over to our uh, get out of edit mode into, let's go to modeling and option to object mode. And then we're going to go to materials, um, click here, go image texture and open and then Open the book UV. All right, it looks good enough for uh, for for government work. <laughs> um, I might actually want this to be a darker color in the background, but I'm not too concerned with that right now. I can play with that material later on. You'll see in this process what we're going to do is we're going to basically repeat that step uh, for all of the books um, all the way across and over, and we'll get all of those into position. Um, and then I'm going to bake them into uh, two UV maps so that the, all these objects, all the books are going to be one basic object. So uh, I'll come back once that is complete. 
All right, so now what we're gonna do, we've got these all imported and looking great. Um, I've done all of the UV mapping and the next step is actually, I want to, um, to bake all of these onto one object. So uh, selecting everything one at a time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then once it's all selected, control J to join them together, okay. And then we're going over to our simple bake over here and we're going to clear and we're going to add the new joined object. We're only doing diffuse. Um, and actually, you know what I'm going to do, I'm going to separate it into two different bakes because what I realize is when we remake the UV maps, it's going to um, take up quite a bit of real estate with all of the faces that don't have much information. So I've got those joined. Um, it's not a big deal. I can now, let me just go ahead and go um, control I and H to isolate our objects here. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and tab over, whoops. What did I do? <laughs> okay, tab over and go to face selection and select just these faces. And then we're going to separate these faces into a new object. We'll go up to, in edit mode, we go to mesh, and we go to, um, let's see, separate selection. And that makes all of these a new object. And then tab over, We've got this object now and this object. So we're gonna bake them separately. So we'll go ahead and do simple bake on this one. Uh, and I'm gonna increase this to 4K so it's got good resolution. And we'll call it books face here. Oh, actually I gotta re-import it. Clear, add, okay. And then I've got to do file name, call it books face. Okay, um, and yes, we want all of these settings, new UV maps and margin for the UV 0 0.01. And um, we want the export of the FBX, we got all that. And I will go ahead and bake it. And once it's baked, I will come back and bake the other one. Okay, so it's baked now um, and we've got these objects I can I'm just going to actually um, uh, delete that one. And then on this one, I'm going to bake these ones next. And so we're going to, again, come up here. I'm going to clear this, and then I'm going to add this. And then we're going to come down here, and I'm going to make it much smaller. Okay? Because it's just going to be a solid color. And then I'm going to call this books back. Okay. And margin UVs, all that's new. And we'll go ahead and bake it. And I'll come back once it's done. All right, so this is now baked. Um, I can uh, get rid of this as well. Um, you can put it in, in a different uh, um, folder if you want to save those, but I'm just gonna actually go ahead and because I know that I did it right, but if you didn't, you might not wanna delete them. You might wanna put them in a new collection or something. So now I'm gonna go ahead over here, import uh, FBX, and I'm gonna do book face and book back and bring those in. And we'll look at our UV maps to kind of discuss what we can do next. So I've got this UV map here. Um, and if we go to UV editing, uh, tab over, you can see nice. It takes up the space. It's also 4K. So that image is going to be really nice and large here. Um, I can open, let's see, books face. Where is it? Hmm. Which one is it? I imagine it's the larger one, right? Open. Oh, no, not that one, I guess. Let's close that, open a different one. Oh, you know what, I bet it's in this one. Bake, 11, all right, let's try this. And that's our bake right there. And it looks good. Okay, so um, the next thing to do is have a look at our 
back of our object. So if we switch over here and switch my edit, go over here, hit A, clear this out. We can see I've got this object here, which is just the empty kind of colors. So I'm going to move that over here, G, move it over here. And then I'm going to select both of these and go Control J and then tab over. And you can see I've got both UV maps. But because I move these to the side, I can scale it way, way down. And I'll just put it on there. So that's how I can fix these UV maps um, to make it work the way I want. And so now this object is nicely laid out with the two UV maps placed on top of each other and no interference. There won't be any overlapping UVs when we export. It's all one piece and we have lots of real estate taken up by the um, high detail images for the books. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and go back over to modeling. Um, switch my camera view and let's kind of pull it back out a little bit. Zoom out here and then go ahead and go Alt H to bring everything back. Oops, tab to Alt H. All right, so that looks about what I'd want. And let's go ahead and do a quick rendering and um, see what it looks like. Okay, so this is what the rendering looks like of our books. So again, all I had to do is push F12 to get the uh, rendering started. And I think it looks pretty accurate and it really adds a lot to the scene to have those books in place. So um, I hope you found this useful. Thank you very much.